Real Tis. Real Talk Podcast. And hello, Real Tis. We are back with the Real Tis Real Talk Podcast. I am your host, Amber Lewis. And I'm Rob Pasker. And we are here with Gary Spreewell, the president of Evangelism. Kojic, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Come on, hands. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so we are at midwinter in Charlotte. And you just got off of a panel yeah. talking about how we increase black ownership, yeah. black wealth. Talk to us a little bit, number one, about who is Gary Sprewell, and then number two, what did you talk about on the panel for those that aren't here with us? Yeah, well, first of all, I'm so grateful to be here, and thank you all for having me on the podcast. Absolutely. Um, I felt like... Uh, the least among those incredible voices that were on that panel. I mean, we had mayors and presidents of schools and uh, bank executives, and you had this little preacher uh, (laughs) from the Church of God in Christ. And I was primarily invited to talk about the partnership that the Church of God in Christ has with NARAB. Okay. Um, The uh, most recent um, uh, former president, Pope, Mm-hmm. Lady Pope is actually the one that brought Church of God in Christ to the table. And, of course, uh, the current president, President Rose, has continued our partnership. Uh, Church of God in Christ, the largest Pentecostal organization in the country, 6.5 million mm-hmm. members. Wow. Uh, we're in 109 countries around the world. Uh, we've got 12,000 plus churches domestically. And so we are a part of the black voice, mm-hmm. the black church. And so it's critically important that the church is a part of of building the black wealth. If there's going to be any movement forward, I think the black church has to be involved. And I'm extremely excited about the partnership uh, that Kojic or the Church of God in Christ has with uh, NARAB. Now, about me, uh, I like to introduce myself by saying my mama was a crackhead, my daddy was a Rolling Stone, quite literally. My father was a traveling musician and traveled the world making music and making babies. Uh I've got 18 brothers and sisters Uh when I stopped counting. Uh Yeah. That's a large family. That's a large family. (laughs) Uh, My mother was on drugs the entire pregnancy Mm -hmm. with me, so I'm what the hood calls a crack baby. Uh And so I'm the least likely to be anywhere. But the grace of God and the power of the black church is what I credit my success to. And I'm extremely excited because the black church partnering with NARAB is going to help change the story for a lot of black babies Mm -hmm. just like me. So I'm excited just to be at the Midwinter Conference. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. So is this is this your first Midwinter? Yeah, it's my first one ever. I heard that. So what's been your experience thus far? Well, just seeing the passion. Not and, and I'm going to be quite honest. I don't know how honest we can be on this podcast, but I thought I was just going to see a bunch of black realtors. Mm-hmm. But there are realtors of all shades and races that have I've seen here. And I'm uh, most impressed by the passion that I see in everyone's eye uh, to help build wealth in their own community. And so I've met some incredible people, have had an opportunity to network and uh, create what I hope are some long lasting relationships. So happy to be here. Absolutely. I think that when you think about relationships specifically, like you were talking about, when you show up at NARAB and you see real tists, to your point, right, we are led by purpose. The work that we do a lot of times comes from how do we ensure that our communities are thriving in the right way. And so when you're in purpose, you find synergy with others. And I think that's what you're seeing as you come to some of the conferences and you meet new people and you're building the relationships. But going back to relationships, what are you most excited about when it comes to the relationship between your church and NARAP? Yeah, well, I don't know if you all have heard, but April 13th is getting ready to be an incredible tour. (laughs) And uh, out of the 100 cities, I don't want to say a number because I don't want to misquote, but I think a very, very large number of that Mm-hmm. Uh, going to be hosted at Church of God in Christ churches mm-hmm. around the country. Yes. And so Bishop J. Drew Sheard, who is our presiding bishop, uh, is extremely committed to the partnership that we have here with NARAB and ensuring uh, that we do our part to help NARAB not only reach the inner communities, but that our Church of God in Christ people are uh, making impact. Mm-hmm. And I like to say that if you're going to make impact or if you want to make impact, you've got to be committed to a collision. Mm-hmm. And we're going to collide and coincide. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I said those words right, <laughs> uh, but our partnership with NARAB is going to do just that. And I'm extremely excited about the potential of the impact that we're going to make in the inner city communities. Yeah. I mean, 
I'm a firm believer if we're going to reach the people, if we're going to move the needle when it comes to black wealth, we got to meet people where they are. And they yeah. are. They're in the, they're in the churches. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, they're, they're serving the Lord. They're, they're fellowship and they're congregating. And so I, I think we have to hit it at different levels. And that's definitely a level with our faith based faith based organizations as well. That's that's Absolutely. a level that we have to hit on. Absolutely. Well, I, one of the points that I made on the panel uh, this morning is how the black church I don't want to just say the black church, but the church, we've kind of, I don't know where we got off track. Mm -hmm. Half of the Old Testament is all about acquiring property. Mm -hmm. We preach about Jericho's walls falling, but that was all about going to get property. It was about because they understood the acquisition of property is wealth. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so real wealth is not what you have on your back. It's not what you have in the bank. It's about what you can build that you leave to the next generation. Mm-hmm. And so I'm extremely excited about the Church of God in Christ training, teaching, empowering, and doing our part for the generation that's coming to understand what wealth really looks like. It's powerful. That is. Well, I think in closing, as we have our Realtors members that are working with local churches in their area, what would be a call to action that you would say for those members? Yeah, well, the first thing I want to say is connect to this 100 City Tour. Mm -hmm. April 13th, I can't keep saying it enough, April 13th is that tour. You want to connect to a local chapter. I understand that you all have chapters in just about everywhere. Right, yes. And so somewhere (laughs) near you is a chapter that you can connect with. And uh, if you can't connect with the NARAP chapter, if you know Kojic, connect with us at kojic.org and we'll help connect those dots but we're in this together we are in this together and we appreciate you and the partnership and we're excited for the future and we're excited for the tour so more to come yes ma'am right Absolutely. Well, we thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy yourself. I am. Fellowship. Just glad it ain't <laughs> snowing <laughs> out. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.